Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the components of research paper. So what I'm going to explain is what are the things that needs to go in each section of the research paper. When you are new to research or when you are a master's or PhD student and going to write your first research article, you might have a lot of confusion on what to write and what not to write. So by the end of this video, uh, you will be able to understand what are the things that you need to write in each section of the research paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this example research article which was published in International Journal of Infectious Disease and the topic is uh, COVID-19 vaccine acceptance in South Asia a multi-country study. So I'll go through each section of this research paper and we'll explain to you what needs to go in each of those sections. All right, let's begin. So the first section of this research paper is obviously topic, author and the affiliation of the author. The topic as you can see here is COVID-19 vaccine acceptance in South Asia or multi-country study. So the important thing about topic is it should be short and sweet. It should not be unnecessarily long. Uh, if it is too long, uh, readers might already be bored while reading your topic, which is not good. So it should be short and sweet. And just below the topic, you can see author's name and surname. As you can see here, there are a lot of authors. Um, it obviously depends on um, how you did your research. There might be two authors, three authors or more than 10 authors as well. But the most important thing about authorship is the first author is the main author who is going to mostly write this research article and the last author is usually the principal investigator. For example, when you are a PhD student, um, you are going to be first author of your research and your professor is going to be the last author. And all the middle authors will be those who provide some sort of intellectual contribution to your paper. And after the author's name, as you can see here, uh, there are the affiliations of these authors. Um, some authors are from Bangladesh, some from Pakistan, some from Nepal. So this is the first section guys in this research paper. So after this first section, uh, the second section is about abstract, as you can see here, which starts from here and ends here. Abstract uh, is about the summary of your research paper, where you are going to mention objective, method, result and conclusion. So these are the four things. Again, objective, methods, result and conclusion. So that are the four things you are going to mention in your research paper. As you can see here in this abstract, uh, they have given proper heading to this abstract. The first heading objective, second method, third result and uh, fourth conclusion. Whereas in this other abstract, you may not see those headings. But first few lines are objective, uh, next few lines are methods, next few lines are results and next few lines are conclusion. So that's how you are going to summarize your research paper in, in an abstract. And after the abstract, the next section of this research paper is keywords. As you can see here, there are six keywords. And the important thing about keyword is in the future, somebody is going to use those keywords to find your research article. So if you do not select keywords properly, your article will not appear in the search result in those search engine. So you have to select those keywords very, very carefully. The next section is introduction. As you can see here, introduction in this research paper starts here and ends here. There are five paragraphs in introduction section and each of the paragraph have different things uh, written by the authors. Uh, so when you are writing introduction, what you need to understand is you need to understand three things. What is known about your topic? What is unknown about your topic? And what are the objectives of your topic? Objectives and rationale of your topic or research topic. So what is known is also called literature review. What is unknown is rationale and then objective. As you can see here, first three paragraphs are about what is known, which is obviously a sort of literature review. And then next paragraph is about what is unknown, which is a rationale which explain why you are doing this research. And then the last paragraph is about objective and hypothesis of your study. So in summary, now introduction is about a little bit of literature review, rationale and objective of your study. So this is how you are going to write your introduction. And if you remember these three things, you are going to write a very good uh, introduction. 
So after introduction, what is the next section of your research paper? The next section is materials and methods. You can also call it as methodology. So in this research paper, in this example research paper, methodology starts from here and ends here. So what are you going to do in methods? In methods, you are going to talk about your research design. What was the design of your study? Whether it was survey or experiment or um, whether it was completely randomized design or Latin square design or something like that. Then you are going to explain about what is your sampling technique or what are your samples. And then you are going to talk about what are the things you measured, what are the measures you have taken or how you collected your data. And after you collected your data, how you analyzed your data. So if you look at this particular research paper, they have mentioned uh, their research design and sampling technique in this paragraph. And they have mentioned their number of samples and sampling uh, approach in this um, sentence. And they have also mentioned in this paragraph, what are the things they measured. And in this particular section, which is statistical analysis section, they have mentioned how they have analyzed the data they collected. So these are the four things you need to uh, remember while you are writing uh, methods. So what, I, what is your research design? What are your sampling technique? What are your samples? What are the things you measured and how you analyzed your data? So after method section, what is the next section? Next section is about result, as you can see here in this paper, which starts from here and ends here. So what is the result about? Result is all about the key findings of your research paper. So how you can write your results? You can either write your results um, in sentences using text. You can also provide table to uh, report your results uh, and findings. You can also use a graph, for example, bar graph or stacked graph or line graph. You can also use pie charts or you can also use pictures depending on the need and depending on the journal. As you can see here in this example research uh, article, they have uh, written several sentences uh, about their uh, results. They have also uh, reported their results in table as you can see here and they have also used this stacked bar graph to report their findings. So if you have tables, you need to give heading to that table and if you have let's say two tables then you need to give heading as table one and table two and while you are reporting your results you need to refer them as table one and table two and same goes for picture one or picture two or figure one or figure two or something like that so while you are writing your results do not report unnecessary result only report the results which are relevant to your study and be concise and use simple language and also while writing results, always write results in past sentences. As you can see here in this sentence, they have reported the result in past sentence. For example, it was found that or we found 50% increase in something, we found 50% decrease in something and something like that. Do not report result in uh, present tense or future tense. So after result, what is the next section? The next section is called discussion. As you can see here in this example research paper, starting from here and ending here. So what is the discussion about? Discussion is about the interpretation of your result, how you are going to interpret your result. What is the implication of your result? So you need to remember four things uh, while writing discussion. So what is the interpretation of your result? How do you interpret your result? What are the implications of your result? That means the importance of your result and what are the recommendations you are going to come up with after your result, uh, which might help future research and what are the limitations of your research. For example, uh, if you could not uh, do research in certain way or if you could not do this or that, that could be the limitation. So those are the things that need to go, go in the discussion section. And also what you are going to do in the discussion section is you are going to compare your result to the previous study, whether uh, previous study have found similar result or different result. If similar, why they have found similar and if different, why they have found different results. And you are going to explain that. So this is all about the discussion. And uh, this is obviously the most important, uh, one of the most important section of your research paper where you are going to use your critical thinking skills to interpret your result. And after the discussion section, what is the next section? Next section is conclusion. Conclusion is the section where you are going to write only two, three sentences 
where you are going to give key message, key finding and key recommendation. So basically it is about giving the key message from your research paper. So if you uh, know the key message and you can present that in two, three sentences, that is going to give you a very good conclusion. And after conclusion, the next section is about funding. So you are going to report, as you can see here, they have uh, given funding section here, whether you got funding from government or private organization, you are going to give the name of that organization. And then after that, there are author's contribution, conflict of interest, acknowledgement and supplementary material. So in the supplementary material section, uh, you are going to give raw data or picture or whatever you can't uh, report in your research paper. So these are the sections that are going to be in the research paper as well. And the last section after all this is the reference. Uh, so in the reference section, what you are going to do, you are going to provide reference of all the papers that you cited in your research paper. As you can see here, this is the APA style reference uh, because this is the paper based on science. They have used APA style. However, if, um, the, if you are in different field, then you can use MLA style or Harvard style or Chicago style as well. It obviously depends on the journal and the requirement of your field. I have made a lot of videos on uh, referencing style. I am going to provide them in the description section and you can go through them as well if you want. So guys, these are the things that goes in each section of the research paper. So in summary, a good research paper includes topic, authors and their affiliation, then abstract and keywords, then introduction, then materials and methods, then results, then discussion, then conclusion, and then references. If you remember that, I'm sure you are going to write a good research paper. So guys, good luck in your study and um, I'll see you again in next video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Until then, bye, watch inspire and keep inspiring.